responses, and they are numerous. But look at this. A new Gallup poll survey, satisfaction with the U.S. direction now at a 12-year high. Numbers don't lie. Facts don't lie. Here with Reaction, the author of the new book, it chronicles all the president's success in a little over 500 days. It's called Trump's America, the truth about our nation's great comeback. Amazon.com, bookstores everywhere. Former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich. Um, let's go to what it was unfolding today and what we now know about... There were about 15 lead investigators in this case, and at least five of them, the lead guys, hated Trump and liked Hillary Clinton. I mean, how could any investigation like that, and the same people got involved in the, in the quote, Trump Russia probe immediately thereafter? How could there be any legitimacy to Mueller's case if that's the origins of this? Well, I, look, I don't think there is any legitimacy, and I think it goes back to something that we need to have a much deeper national debate about. There really is a deep state. That deep state uh, at the Justice Department gave 97 percent of its donations in 2016 to Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> the language they use, I mean, if you imagine a government employee who used the same language about African Americans or Latinos or Jewish Americans or Muslim Americans that they use in some of those quotes about Trump supporters, you would have screams to high heaven. Uh, it's clear that you had an attitude at the very senior levels, not down at the local caseworker, not down at the level of the local offices, but in the Washington headquarters, both in the Justice Department and in the FBI, the senior figures, <clears throat> by any plausible standard, are corrupt. Uh, and they clearly were operating on the premise that Hillary was going to get to be president, and therefore anything they said or did was fine because she'd cover it up. But if they did their job, they would have sent the entire 2016 election into, into utter chaos. But their animus, their antipathy, their hate, <laughs> it's downright hatred. Why are you laughing? For President look, Trump, and you're right, look, if, and his supporters, the people that voted for him. Why are you laughing? Look, if, if people if well look, if people had done their job, Hillary would have faced jail time in nineteen seventy eight and seventy nine when she made ninety eight thousand dollars on a one thousand dollar investment in cattle futures, which the Wall Street Journal figured out was like a six trillion to one impossibility. Okay, well but hang uh, on a so second. The, so the is that should we now whole conclude? Career should we now conclude there's no equal justice under the law, equal application of our laws? No. That Clinton has one standard and the rest of us are screwed? No, we, we should conclude that the American left is quite comfortable with corruption because it so deeply despises the American system, whether that is Barack Obama, whether it is the attorney general under Obama, whether it is Comey or Mueller, all of these people are the same people, and they go back for over a decade. You can go back and find them again and again coming up uh, in ways. I was just with former but, but Congressman Mr. Bob Speaker, McEwen. I, I, he was talking this, about this is an American right. election. We're not the former Soviet Union. We're not Venezuela, or at least I didn't think so. But if they, if this stands, and it appears it does, I don't. Show me where Hillary's going to get stand. the indictment she deserved. And when is this witch hunt going to stop when it was all predicated on, on the, the biggest anti-Trump witch hunters in the world proven by their statements? Well, I, look, I, I, first of all, I don't know that anybody who is on the corruption side of this is necessarily safe. But it unravels gradually and it keeps unraveling. It's going to keep unraveling some more. Every week that goes by... We learn new things. They're horrifying things. And frankly, they should remind all of us how close we came to losing the country. That you had between Obama and Clinton a total disregard for the American tradition, a total disregard for the truth, whether they were lying about Benghazi or they were lying about bin Laden or they're lying about the Russians or they're lying about the campaign. These people didn't care because they came out of a left-wing background that okay, assumed so here's that my all question. these middle-class values are nonsense. 
I will concede the point, and patience is not my greatest virtue, not that I have a lot of you know, great <laughs> virtues that, that uh, you deserve, that people need, but in all seriousness, and I know this is the beginning, are you confident that what should be the equal application of laws, especially with Hillary, and especially again, Mueller's team is as corrupt as Comey's team was going after uh, investigating Clinton. It's the same people. They pre it's all started yeah, by the, the same, same people, I mean, which should render it illegitimate. I, I believe that people who want to preserve the rule of law have to keep the pressure up. You, and, and I very much admired what Senator Hatch was doing today, what Senator Grassley was doing. I look forward to Congressman Goodlatte tomorrow. People are getting aroused and they're moving. Yeah. All right, Mr. Speaker, congrats on the success of the book uh, out in bookstores, Amazon.com. Uh, all right, when we come back, the president is calling out these Trump hating Clinton FBI agents, the people that gave her a pass, Peter Strzok and company. Now, we're going to tell you why and get reaction from Dr. Gorka. Michael Caputo also with us with his personal story involving all this. Straight ahead.